As the leaves change colors, Lorts and Gardens is giving visitors another reason to visit. Lindsay Thies is in South Omaha to explain. Lindsay. That's right. Well, Jen and Jennifer, in addition to these chairs that I'm sitting in being very comfortable, they are very beautiful. They're part of a project that's been lasting for a few weeks. It's the second year where Lorts and Gardens and the sister cities have brought in artists, wood carvers from Lithuania near their sister city. I mean, look at this beautiful detail, the owls, the uh, leaves, and I, I want to see if my photographer can even get this around the back here. Look at this. They carved their names into the back. How cool is that? I want you to take a look at just how neat this process is and how they make these works of art. Chainsaws and chippers cut away as sculpture comes to life at Lords and Gardens. Two Lithuanian wood carvers have made Omaha their home for the past three weeks, shaping oaks into art. The gentleman with the hat on is Odema Shimkus. He's from the town of Kurtuvene. He's a full-time artist. He's been doing this for about 15 years. He was uh, inspired to work with wood by his grandfather. And Dalio Zimantas over here was uh, his teacher and mentor uh, who taught him the finer skills of wood carving. The two men are from an area near Omaha's sister city, Chalet. Actually, it has some similarities to, to Omaha, uh, one being that it has a major uh, NATO air base, and we have Offit, or Strategic Air Command, just south of town here. The City of Omaha Parks Department donated the oak from the trees that they had already taken down, changing something old into something new as the fall colors change at the garden. Watching something that would have been felled to the ground get a completely second chance and um, being something beautiful for generations to enjoy instead of like firewood. Yeah, very cool. Definitely don't want these beautiful things to be firewood. How gorgeous. So this is the other neat thing that I love. Uh, a lot of the host families told the artists some stories and that kind of helped shaped into different things like this little cat here is actually modeled after Tutu, the cat that belongs to one of the families that the artists have been staying with. So if you want to come by, these are in the children's garden section of Lauritsen for now. And uh, if, if you think, oh, this is so cool, they actually have a few other different gardens with different themes, a British one, um, and even an homage to the, our sister city in Japan as well here at Lauritsen. We're live near South Omaha. I'll send it back to you guys.